Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's had a good day today. I have decided to go ahead and review this book, The Magic of Aleister Crowley, A Handbook of Rituals of Thelema. This is another book I've read, hmm, another book I've read, not written, by Lon Milo Duquette, and I have yet to read a Duquette book that I haven't enjoyed. He has a great way of explaining things and really passing on knowledge while maintaining a sense of humor. It feels more like a conversation rather than something dry or preachy. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, this book was a very easy read, and by easy, I mean I I enjoyed it, I felt like I was learning um, quite a bit. So, the only reason why I waited a day to do this review is because, uh, because of the, the subject matter, Aleister Crowley himself. Uh, people that are familiar with Crowley's work, um, they are they have very strong opinions, and from what I have seen in my personal experience, they will not hesitate to correct even the slightest thing they think is misunderstood or wrong. And um, then there are there's another camp of people that don't even want to hardly say his name as if they might be invoking the devil or something so yeah um, and you know I just I've I've watched biograph uh, biographies and different videos about his life and it is a mixed bag but you cannot deny that he was quite dedicated to magic very intelligent and um, definitely earned his place in history for sure. So what I'm going to do is uh, read the back cover. On the back here we have some remarks about the book. The first one here, oh me, it's hard to look through the viewfinder and read at the same time. Okay, if you've ever said to yourself, I wish there was a book that clearly and wittily explained Aleister Crowley's magic and philosophy, well, you're holding that book right now. This is a truly important work because it explains so much of Crowley's work so clearly with such warmth and humor. And that review was written by Jason Augustus Newcomb, author of 21st Century Mage. The next review is from a frater superior of the OTO. And he says, Occultism frequently gives ample grounds for criticism to its detractors by making insupportable claims for vaguely defined powers the whole encompassed by a nonsensical theory. As Israel Regardi did before him, Duquette avoids this by writing from his own experience with a healthy leavening of common sense and a refreshing sense of humor. Aleister Crowley's ascension into the pantheon of, of alternative gurus was cemented by his appearance on the album cover of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Unfortunately, he was known more for his reputation as the Beast of 666, no, the Beast 666, and the wickedest man in the world. But this infamy eclipsed his teachings. Plus, his technical and opaque writing style makes it difficult for today's reader to fathom. Enter Lon Milo Duquette to decipher and explain Crowley's texts and more important rituals. The magic of Aleister Crowley is a clear introduction to Crowley's works by a modern master, excuse me, a modern master of the occult and one of the wittiest writers in the field. In this modern grimoire, Duquette takes the mystery out of the rituals and Crowley's writings without diluting the magic. Step by step, with concrete examples, he presents a course of study in plain English. 
Duquette also introduces readers to further study of Crowley's system of scientific illuminism with an extensive bibliography and fastidious footnotes. This revised edition, formerly titled The Magic of Thelema, features extensive corrections, a new introduction, and a new chapter of rituals, The Rites of Eleusis. So that really just tells you pretty much what you need to know about this book. He's covering several important rites. I'm going to um, go ahead and show you the table of contents. So he covers frequently asked questions about Aleister Crowley, the magic of will, the evolution of magical formula, the book of the law, the pentagram rituals, the thelemic rituals of the pentagram, the star, ruby, and Libra 5, the hexagram rituals, the thelemic ritual of the hexagram, the star sapphire, knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel, the solar rites, thelemic mysticism, the rites of Eleusis, thelemic orders, the religion of Thelema, and um, yeah. That, that's it. So it's less than 260 pages. And um, I'm going to set this down and see. I think there was a couple things within the book I wanted to share. I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to share a few things that show that the book does give some practical knowledge that would be useful for anybody. And I'm going to go ahead and read this section here. The practical workings... Oh, for practical workings, these pen... Uh, Sorry, started at the wrong place. Okay. To successfully invoke or banish various elements, the magician needs to know how to correctly draw 12 different pentagrams. One each to banish and invoke each of the four elements, and one each to banish and invoke the two varieties, active and passive, of spirit. So you see here, they show you very clearly the 12 different pentagrams that you should learn and you know um, even if you're not going to do ceremonial magic this would be something that would be good for anybody to know and I thought I would show another example that go over the lesser ritual of the pentagram and within here I believe this is his wife posing here for the pictures they show you different stances to learn and work with for different portions of different rituals. So that's practical information. It's very clear and simple. So you've got the rending of the veil, the closing of the veil. That was good. They talk about vibration of the divine names. And um, let's see. Here's the greater ritual, the pentagram. He goes over that. He goes over knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel. And um, what traditionally was re required to attain that versus Crowley's method. And so that was an interesting section of the book. And then they go over various things. Uh, hold on. So here we are by chapter 9, going over the solar rites. And for all of the different rites, he will give you, uh, Duquette gives you the original text and everything from Crowley and then he gives you his own insights and experiences and um, writes it in a way that you can understand it in a little bit more modern English. This was a really interesting chapter here, chapter 11. So yeah, I found the whole book very interesting. 
I don't see the point in just flipping around and showing you different chapters, but um, I found the whole book very interesting. And I think if you are at all interested in Crowley um, and learning more, if you're not somebody who's already very knowledgeable, you would really appreciate this book. People that are super knowledgeable regarding Crowley, I don't know that they would particularly love this book. However, um, he did contact and have communication with and various people within the two orders that are associated with the Lima, the OTO, and the AA. Um, and they reviewed his work and his writing and added commentary. And so, yeah, I do think it's a really great book. If you've just been curious and you would like to understand things better, um, kind of the reality versus the sensationalism. It is all high magic. It all it is, it is all ceremonial magic. So if you're not into that at all, you probably would not be very into this book. But if you are at all curious, I think you definitely would love this book. Okay, I suppose that's pretty much the best review I can do without spending too much time. If you do have any specific questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to um, answer. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I hope this finds everybody having a great day or a great evening, and I wish you many blessings. See you soon.